Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich Switzerland. Transitions are the easiest way to animate things in React Native. Lately, we've been consolidating our story around transitions and I would like to show it to you now. There are two types of transitions in React Native. Transitions on state changes on the JavaScript thread, where we listen to changes on the React state and provide an animation value to build a, a transition. So that's the example here where we have the list which is open or not. And then we bind an animation value here called transition that we use to uh, build this collapse transition. So these are transitions on the JavaScript thread. And then there are transitions on the UI thread on changes of animation values. And we've built a, an example a couple of weeks ago, which was the Google Chrome uh, drag to sort example. And here we move the card around and the position of each tab is updated uh, automatically without transition. And then we can simply add a transition function on the animation value to have this nice and, and smooth spring transition. And in this case, the transition function is extremely powerful because it enables us to really decouple a, a seemingly complex user interaction into um, small and digestible pieces. So you see here, we just have to solve this user interaction. And once we have this working, which is simply updating the offset of each tab, we get the nice and smooth transitions for free. So in Redash, which is a utility library we use for most of these animations, we now provide four functions to help build transitions. So depending on whether you want to build a transition on the state change on the JavaScript thread, or if you want to build a transition based on the value change on the UI thread, and depending if you want to uh, have a timing or a spring function, we provide the adequate function for you. So I would like to, to show it to you in action now. So here we have the old use transition function, which was a bit awkward. So we had the source and destination value, which didn't really belong here. And then you could pass some uh, configuration parameter for the timing function. But of course, some people asked us on, on GitHub to have uh, to provide a spring function and so on. So we have uh, fixed the function signature. Now you pass the state as the first parameter and you can give an optional configuration for the timing function. So here it would be duration and easing. You can import easing from reanimated. Let's have a look. So here it is. This one is optional. By default, use transition is using use timing transition, but we can use use spring transition, which we need to import from Redash. So here it is, and you see it flicks. And this is because we're using a spring. So the height is going to be here negative at some point because spring doesn't go from zero to one, but from a little bit below zero to a little bit uh, above one because of the oscillation. So this is why here we have this, this flickering effect. So here in this case, the timing function is much more appropriate. Uh, in some cases, the spring function, like for instance, in the Google Chrome example, the spring function is going to be way more appropriate to, to use. But here we use the timing function. So these are for transitions based on the JavaScript thread. Now let's look at transitions based on the UI thread. So what if here, instead of you know having a state for is the list open or not, and every time we tap, we have to cross the native bridge. We can store this value into an animation value. So that when we tap, we collapse the list and we never cross the React Native bridge. So I'm going to create a new value, which is called open. And the value is either 0 or 1. And the default is 0. It's closed. So here, we're not going to use use transition, but with transition on this animation value. And here, instead of using a touchable without feedback, which 
creates this cross crossing of the React Native bridge. We're going to use a tab gesture handler so that everything happens on the UI thread. So tab gesture handler from React Native gesture handler. So we need to pass a gesture handler as property and we have an helper function from Redash to help us create this gesture handler. We need another animation value, which is the state of the gesture. So I'm going to create a new value. Default is state dot. So I need to import state and default is undetermined. And we can create gesture handlers, which is on gesture event. And I pass state as a value. And now when the state of the animation finishes, when we tapped, we can toggle the value for open. So let's use use hook, a uh, use code hook to do that. And I'm going to create a condition if state equals state end, we toggle open. So open equals not open. Do you see how now we can automatically import these functions? Before it used to be that we had to, you know, write it manually in the destructuring of the animated variable. And here, this one should fix automatically, no? All right, so let's have a look. And so you see here, now, if I tap, um, the React Native bridge is not crossed. So even if I'm running on a very low grade Android device, I'm not going to get any frame drop, even though I can like tap like crazy on the list. So these four new functions are available on React Native Redash. They're going to be extremely useful to either very simply build transition based on state changes or to, or to decouple complex gestures and animations like the Google Chrome uh, drag and drop example into really small and digestible uh, pieces. I really hope uh, you guys uh, will enjoy these functions and I'm really looking forward to, to your feedback on this. And before I leave you, if you're interested to learn the fundamentals of gestures and animations in React Native, I recommend you check out my online course at startreactnative.dev. My goal with this course is to provide you with all the tools and knowledge necessary in order to build incredible user experiences in React Native. I'm updating the platform on a monthly basis. Right now, we started to talk about uh, SVG animations and we're starting to build very cool SVG animations. So if you're interested to learn the fundamentals of declarative gestures and animations in React Native, I recommend you check it out. Guys, I wish you a great and well-deserved end of the year holidays. We are back. I'm looking forward to talk to you guys soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.